dairy farmers so I'm able to get some fresh milk um, however if you cannot get fresh milk then you can go ahead and get some organic cream from the grocery store and it will work just fine as well but if you are using fresh milk you're going to want to go ahead and the cream is going to rise to the top of the milk and you're going to go ahead and skim that off you can totally tell a difference in color um, it's thicker and you can and you'll be able to see skim that top off and that's going to be the cream that you use for your butter you're going to go ahead and put your cream in a glass jar and you're going to leave it out for 12 hours. I know you think, oh my gosh, it's going to spoil, but you kind of want it, you need it to be spoiled and a little soured in order to make a good butter. So you're going to leave it out for 12 hours and um, in the process, you're also going to get some buttermilk. I don't know if any of you have tried buttermilk before, but it is pretty sour. And when making butter, you're, um, you also are able to get some buttermilk. So I will show you also how you will get buttermilk out of your homemade butter. So what you go ahead, this has been sitting out for 12 hours, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how I'm going to go ahead and um, make butter. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're just going to shake our cream, okay? So we're just going to go one shake per second, and you're just going to do this. And as you're doing this, you're going to do it for about two to three minutes, and a solid's going to form inside of the buttermilk, okay? And this is all it's going to be take in order to get butter, two to three minutes. Be back to show you what the butter looks like just going to do one shake per second. Okay, I finished shaking it and there's clearly a solid that's inside of this jar. I'll show you what it looks like. You can see the butter is in there, it's separated, and you see there's some milk. This is called buttermilk and this is actually um, you're just going to pour it off into a jar. And you can see the butter in there um, is what you're left with. From here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a little water to the butter. And the reason we're doing this is we're going to want to get all the excess milk off so it doesn't go rancid on your butter and spoil your butter. Going to want to go ahead and just go ahead and put your lid back on and we're just going to go ahead and shake it a couple more times to get all the milk off of the butter so it doesn't spoil and you're just going to go ahead and you're going to drain that off and then you are left with your homemade butter from here, I will go ahead and add some salt. If you'd like, you can have unsalted butter. And for my bread, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little honey and maybe a little cinnamon for a cinnamon honey uh, butter. But that is it. Super simple to make butter, and it's absolutely delicious. Um, until next time, this is Hallie Cottis with Whole Lifestyle Nutrition. 